Hello everyone, my name is Ding and I'm an instructor of Focus Source Academy. Every day when I teach in my student, I figure out they know how to make a render, a good render, but they don't know how to organize their file. And to make the file is very heavy and it is slowly the workflow. So I will make a series and I will list every problem my student make and share it with you. So maybe this can help you in some day. And today we got this scene. The render is fine. It's a very good render. We don't have any problem with this. But the problem is here. The poly and the vertex is very heavy. And if you keep doing this way, you never can work with the bigger project. And we don't have any layer on this too. And maybe, just maybe, this is your workflow right now. I will show you. You must the model to the scene, the object, the tree. You copy this to instant. And you keep copy it. And after three or five models like this, your file is very lucky. And this is what I do. Before I bring the model to the scene, I will collect them right here. I make the list of every single model I will use. I give a name like the furniture layer or the decor layer. And after that, we test the material. We make sure everything is fine. Now we choose the object and I will choose this chair and use a command called a proxy. Let's choose the location and click this box. And you see the poly and the vert vertex is lower. We keep doing this for all the heavy model remain. And after this, we bring the boxy model to the scene. And right now, you can copy it as many as you want. 5, 10, or 50, it doesn't matter if you make the proxy first. Okay, now wait me a little bit to replay all of this stuff. And after we're done, you can take a look of the poly and the vertex of our scene. And this is what we want. And the second one we can do this and make a layer for this scene. Now we have many things in here. A layer default, a layer freezy, the laser zero. We have no idea what this layer means, so uh, let's delete all of this and only the layer default less. Now let's pick up some of furniture and click this icon, create a new layer. I name this layer here furniture. And this chair is moving from the layer default to the layer furniture for me. And let's hit on this layer and choose another one model. And make sure the active layer icon on the furniture is on and we click add 
okay and this is our model we repeat this step until every remain model in the right place and let's create another layer called a decal and put some object into this we can create the many layer if we want but keep it simple for easy to control so after we done this job and this is what we got we got right here the building layer the camera the decor the furniture layer temp and lighting layer and in some case if you want to test only the building material you can easy to on or off another layer and this is the after and the before you can see the quality of the render is still the same let's take a look at the five side this one is 500 and this one only contain the 100 okay and this all for today thank you hope this one can help you in some way and see you guys in another video